I've been watching my police videos. Advice. I've seen some wild police videos this week. This guy, all <laughs> it starts off so small, so pedestrian. Is so, it always American? Yes. I don't care about other other countries don't know how to handle their criminals. Well, we, we got that uh, locked down here. Brazil's pretty good. Our incarceration rate now. is well, El Salvador is okay. Their cops videos would be just murders, I think. Singapore. <laughs> El Salvador <laughs> got graffiti? rid of their crime. <laughs> El Salvador just locked everybody up. They don't get that murder robbed. anymore. These got this guy who had like beaten his girlfriend, I think, and he gets set up in a high speed chase with the cops, but it doesn't last very long. Because uh, they immediately pop one of his tires and his car crashes. He jumps out. And this is all from the cops, video, uh, police, um, the, the vehicle camera. He jumps out and tries to carjack somebody like in Grand Theft Auto, like pulling at their door handle. And they take off. Well, he's got one hand on their door handle and, the, uh, and his right hand on the crack, um, in their cracked um, side window. And they're going like 40 down the interstate with the cops in pursuit. He's on the side of the vehicle. He's like, He's like doing a curl, like pulling his legs up so they're not being drugged. And the car is swerving and he's still hanging on. They, fu- cop, they finally stop and the guy lets go and goes around to the passenger side and continues to try to carjack him. And the cop goes pop, pop and shoots him fucking twice at point blank range and drops him. And then nice. the, at the same time, the other cop car comes from behind and like bumps the guy as he's falling to the ground. And they've like got him right there. And he's like, incensed that he's been shot he's like why did you shoot me (laughs) (laughs) he's like you broke my arm (laughs) after a a two mile chase of trying to harm people he got he's shocked i saw one where the cop ends up in the vehicle with the bad guy completely different situation and he's like behind the driver and they're both in the driver's seat wrestling and the guy has taken off and the cop is going stop the car stop the car stop the car and he's like starts tasing the guy and the guy's going ah but he's still mm-hmm. driving the fucking car yeah. he, and he got, cop drops the taser now he's got a pistol he's going i am going to shoot you if you do not stop this car and he goes bang <laughs> and the guy goes ah! <laughs> where did he shoot him meet in the back somewhere like they're, they're like you know it's like they're in a jujitsu mm. yeah, match they're in a you know they're, they're they're, they're spooning in a high-speed vehicle going down the road. <laughs> and he puts two in the guy, and the guy immediately stops the fucking car. That's what I always find interesting. Do you know if he died? I never check. I don't care, usually, if I'm being honest. But these guys are such pieces of shit. They, they'd be like, dude, put the knife down. And they'll say it 50 fucking times, spend 20 minutes doing it. But they'll shoot him once. Now we don't need to negotiate anymore at all. He's like, oh, they're, they're in so much pain. They realize it's real now. I, I saw you were kidding. I don't understand people yelling at people who have guns. I'm so afraid of a guy with a gun. Like, don't you know that that's a gun? I saw one mm. where this black lady approaches a vehicle. There's another black lady sitting in the vehicle, and she's talking shit. Bitch, you ho-ass bitch. Oh, you got a gun? The lady in the car is like, yeah, I got a gun. What you gonna do with that gun? What you <laughs> gonna do with that gun? She goes, bang! <laughs> and shoots her in the arm. <laughs> and she's like, shot me! <laughs> She's walking away, surprised. She's like live streaming this on Facebook, dude. The, she's holding the phone, recording herself doing all this, and now she's shot. And she's like, "She shot me! Damn it, she shot me! You just told her to shoot you." I wish she replied with, "Choose your last words." Like, what are you gonna do with that gun? What are you gonna do with that gun? Choose your last words. You ain't gonna shoot me. Okay, <laughs> that's your choice. Yeah, when a cop says, "I'm going to shoot you," they fucking mean that shit. And and they usually shoot you a bunch of times, I've noticed, which is the scariest part. Mm-hmm. If I thought that either the cop's going to wing me once or I'm going to get away, that was sort of the scales we were playing with, I might risk getting winged a little. Mm-hmm. That's not what they do, though. They mm-hmm. drop you and dump magazines into you. I was watching one today. They go, get on the ground. He gets on the ground on his belly. Then he pops back up immediately, unzips his like jacket, pulls out a gun (laughs) so (laughs) slow woody he pulls this gun out at the speed of molasses and how were his burpees did he look pretty good doing the burpees going down the burpee was clean the burpee was clean like he popped up and was and was like zip and they're like what are you bang 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 and they don't stop he's curled up in the fetal position and this dude is still shooting him in his ass you can Mm. see his pants like pop every time he gets shot in a butt cheek pop 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 pop. like damn dude you shot him six times in the ass while he was curled up trying to crawl away the acorn video is all you need to see about American police. If I think it looks like Finster saw that one. I love the little role he did. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> he screamed that they was hit. I'm hit. I'm hit. Yeah. <laughs> you know? and she's just he full mag dumped into that car. She full mag dumped into that car. And uh, Wasn't there that was guy just fine. Fine. Yeah. Oh, every it's shot. Just... <laughs> every shot missed. Every single shot was off target. Well, uh, yeah, I just our police are wild. Yeah, there's there's the video that second um the second cop that's there that's like hearing like oh shit he's, he's got a gun and you just see the other cop do like two consecutive like tactical rolls. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good clip. He's <laughs> dolphin diving out there on the asphalt, crawling around. Yeah. When he said he was hit, I, the first the time part. I watched that, I was like, oh my god. There's a sniper with a silencer shooting cops. <laughs> this is evil. They're oh my god! And then I realized what was happening. I'm. Like, <laughs> if so I'm a squirrel, I try to make that happen all the time. I'm just tossing Dude, acorns on cars. Oh. <laughs> oh. Like like how embarrassing is that? I hope that cop. The worst part is they always get another job somewhere else, like doing cop shit. They're like, oh, now he's a sheriff's deputy in a small town. It's like, why does he have a gun? <laughs> why does he? Have, why are we giving that guy a gun at, w- anymore at all? Like, like he slung so much lead across all of Tarnation, just bullets whizzing. And pl- if you could see the tracers, you'd see bullets whizzing past houses, over trees, into towns nearby, just zipping across like traffic. There like, has no to te- be a role that never has emergencies, like working at the DMV or something. That's where yeah. he belongs. Behind an actual desk, desk like like he comes to work takes his gun off, sits it there, and then, like, he's just toting he a gun. Ha- How'd you still give him a gun in this situation? <laughs> I feel like they... I feel like they this will, guy should though. take whatever he's crocheting, set it aside, and just start <laughs> processing driver's licenses. You ever see the other guys with uh, Will Ferrell? They take his gun away and give him a wooden gun? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> he comes back, and he's sanded it and made it nicer and, pop- <laughs> and like, uh, stained it. <laughs> Did you stain that? A little mahogany. <laughs> but he's got a wooden fucking gun in his holster because he can't be trusted one that's how barney was um andy griffith show back in the day barney fife he um andy t- andy of course never carried a gun at all but barney would but he kept the bullet in his shirt pocket he had one bullet in his shirt pocket and when it came time to like deal with a real bad outlaw in mayberry he'd pull the he'd have his hand would be shaking so badly when he put that one bullet in the gun it was mm. just a it was a danger to everybody i don't i see those cops with that, all that crazy tactical gear. I, they were responding the other day to That's a guy it, with King. a knife. Tell us about first responders. Oh, my God. They were they were responding to a man <laughs> in his own home with a mm-hmm. knife. Sounds like a chef to me, okay? But we sent SEAL Team fucking six. They got... The, <laughs> I've played enough Tarkov to recognize the gear they've got on, and like, mm-hmm. Jesus, these guys must have max traders. They got helmets on. They got fucking lasers <laughs> everywhere. Like, 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 And they're all stacked up, and the guy... Two, I will say, was being an asshole. He's standing there, though, not doing anything, saying, fuck you, over and over. And uh, they're shooting him with a 40 millimeter less lethal. Like, mm. it, it, remember in uh, that thing Arnold Schwarzenegger had Terminator 2? He'd, like, break it down, put another round in it, the thumper from uh, mm. COD as well. He's shooting him with a thumper over and over at, like, 15 feet away. What is he, he shooting? Goes, Would you describe it as a, rubber. a plastic pellet, a beanbag? Big rubber impact round of some kind. And, and you mm. know, 40 millimeters... Not quite the size of a tennis ball, but it's getting there. It's it's a big shot. It's a grenade launcher. And and, it, and the guy's tired of getting hurt. It is. And the guy's tired of getting hurt. So he takes an end table, like a hallway, sort of longer than it is wide table, and sort of flips it up on its side as a shield. Homeboy with the MP5 just murders him at that point. <laughs> like, like, that's <laughs> it. He's like, oh, you're going to deploy your shield? And just wastes him right there. He's got wow. MP5 SD guy over here. Just lets him have it. Do we know anything about why the police were there, what they were dealing with? Man with knife. That's the problem. He in his like, home. It, I got a knife right now. Yeah, I bet well, Finster has some. I forgot we were using knife guy. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, Wait, I got girl? really scared. You I can. Sure I am a guy. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I don't I know. know. You You haven't given me clear instructions. I know. I, gl- I, give, I give everyone else a pass. As soon as you say something, though, I like to act offended. <laughs> 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 Have you seen the Afro Man video, what he's talking about? Because I got so, high? No. So so Afro one. Man got his place raided, and I guess he didn't have anything. Uh, and he's got, but he had cameras everywhere. So he's got the whole road raid recorded. And he's like making fun of that particular police department in a rap, in a song, right? It's, it's barely, it's not really a rap, it's a song. 
uh, it's kind of like uh, it's to the, the tune of how I got high, I think, as well. And he's like, why are you looking in my sock drawer? <laughs> 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 what did you think was in my Sunday pants? <laughs> because they're going through his pockets and shit. And it's just like making fun of the officers, showing clips of them fumbling around in his in his shit. Yeah, this is this is from his music video. This is the this is the look at this fucking army ranger that he sent to get him. <laughs> like, don't you love that? I always yeah. think that's embarrassing. Dude, I it's a no nonsense. I started to on the right. turn on our nation's first responders in general. Just the self proclaimed heroism, right? Everyone runs away while we run towards the danger. Suck a dick, dude. Like, I, I am just so tired of you smelling your own farts, thinking that you're better than everybody else. Tell them, buddy. I, I, <laughs> first responders are the cringiest cunts you'll find on the internet or anywhere is this, else. For now, that is this matter. EMS, paramedics, firemen, p- police, oh, yeah. all of them? I just want to take them and push them up against a Velcro wall until they're stuck there because the fuckers are always dressed in cosplay. I'm done oh. with it. I'm done with it. <laughs> You yeah. don't like firemen anymore? Did this start on 9-11 <laughs> when you're like, it doesn't look that hot? <laughs> Could you belly get about all those stairs? Yeah. Oh, Everything. I'm sorry. There's a little bit of dust in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's right. That's, uh, that is the funniest group to go after because I've never heard anyone have umbrage with, <laughs> with first responders. And then they're like, oh, can you move your legs? <laughs> Are you in a car accident? <laughs> I'm okay with most of the first responders. I do think that they look any any male dominated good old kind of like profession like that that's physical in nature like that develops this good old boy kind of thing, um, and they can be annoying as shit just to talk to just because they're that way. I don't like, I don't hate firemen. I want them to come put my shit out, but I wouldn't want to hang out with a bunch of dudes at a fucking firehouse either. Like, and my those guys are usually douchebags. That'd be the I usually got around the job. I usually got along with all the cops that I knew in private, but then you know them in private. And in private, they're completely different people. You know what I mean? In private, yeah. they're like, hey, what kind of weed you got? And I'm like, that's mm. right here. And he's and my cop friend's like, oh, that's some good weed because he's my cop friend. Or he'll be like, this is the knife I'm going to use to disembowel some fucker if he have, and like, oh, cool. He's got a Batman knife. Or they'll be like, yeah, Kyle, I'll tell you, being a cop ain't nothing but beating up N words all night. That's all I do these days, beat up N words all night. They don't let, if you tase them, paperwork pepper spray them paperwork you shoot them oh, oh paperwork but you <laughs> whoop their ass kyle ain't nothing to write about then <laughs> wait is that part a real thing yeah oh. he had the kevlar knuckle gloves and i, and I was like damn man I'm, what do you make again 14 dollars. he made like 14 dollars an hour and then they had to come in and wash their own cars they had to wash their like vehicles themselves and, and do minor repair like his fender was hanging off really he had to fix it yeah i don't want to be yeah, a cop yeah yeah quite the cop fronts very yeah, very cops. what yeah cops like guns oh no they also it makes well, sense it wasn't the yeah. gun part i was surprised by it's it was like, good yeah, to like putting kevlar knuckles on like you're gonna batman some oh situation. they all have those you won't find a cop who doesn't have gloves with kevlar knuckles you that's not a cop i have like six pairs of gloves with kevlar knuckles for motorcycle stuff yes. mm-hmm. that yeah. makes sense yeah, that, they don't I honestly think it's for sales. Like, like the they also have um, sliding things on the palm. I think that's mm-hmm. for like protection. And the Kevlar knuckles are because it feels cool. Like you put them on, you punch your fists together. Everybody does. It's like a rule, and yeah, it just it's neat to have Kevlar knuckles. Yeah, but yeah. I can't imagine sliding on my like the back of my hands in an accident. Yeah, it's already gone terribly. If you if you yeah, yeah. the back of your hands, yeah, <laughs> man. First responders, though, that's 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 a new one for me too. Yeah. I don't like the police. I I, I dislike the police. Kind they're of they're included. Police, kind of security guards. Um, security guards aren't responding too much, are they? They're the first I, ones I, there. They're probably there like, before the cops. They're the zero responders. Yeah, I like security guards. Uh, I do hate that cocksucker. Any cocksucker that wants to try to check my receipt. As I leave a place, although now, unfortunately, I've watched so many police activity videos that I know that I better show it to them because they're going to call the cops and things can escalate very quickly. I don't want to yeah. get killed out here over my receipt, um, but but I don't like them asking to see your fucking receipt. I hate that shit. Um, you're, not, you're not wearing like a giant coat. With like merchandise shapes under the, the, the down in this coat is shaped like a, a Samsung television. <laughs> no, no, I don't know what the fuck I'm I, I, can you take your receipt, sir. 
I want to I want to have a meltdown when that shit happens. I, I I've I've ignored them plenty of times and kept rolling. I've thrown the receipt on the floor. Um, mm. There you go, and, and kept kept moving too. You show um, that minimum wage employee. <laughs> well, I don't care how much he makes if he's going to be a piece of shit. He could he could be the owner of the store or he could be some random civilian, but nobody's going to check my fucking receipt. I just first of all, we're at Walmart, not Balenciaga. OK, I, I'm not walking out of here with eight grand worth of cufflinks or some shit. <laughs> like, yeah. I, you see what I got, dude. I got two gallons of milk there. That's some Wheaties. All right. Yeah. Look, uh, some macaroni some, some in the Tyson bottom. Tyson tendies. You, I paid for the dog food in the bottom too. Like, like that's mine. Like, like, what are you looking for? What's the valuable item? You, I you guys have Walmart. a lot stricter receipt checkers than I do when I go to my local Walmart. Like, if I am stopped, it's just them like seeing the existence of a receipt. Like, no one's doing anything with it. It's mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, they want a receipt buy- and then that's it. So, I've had what Kyle talks shit. about at a Best Buy, but I don't go to Walmart much. I don't. I don't know what they do. I don't anymore. I check your receipts. Well, they must be getting <laughs> robbed a lot at Best Buy if they're doing that. They're getting robbed so much at Walmart that they're closing stores in in like scary areas. Target I, I, as well. Yeah, I see yeah. that. I heard REI did that. I actually mm-hmm. love that shit. I like seeing you know that it's like that's what you get. And people, we don't even have a Walmart. Yeah, because you robbed them. Walmart came here, they <laughs> provided a service for you, and you robbed them. Yeah. Now they don't want to provide you with services. Now you can go up. Oh, Oh, yeah. Nowhere. Nowhere. Go nowhere. Yeah, it's hmm. not good. It affects everybody because like eventually you, like the way we do merchandise stores is brand new, like a, a, a new global thing in the last hundred years. Like hmm. being able to walk around and be like, oh, I'll have this. Put this in my car. Oh, this I'll put this in my car. Like that's new. The way it's always been is like you go somewhere, you talk to the guy behind the counter and you go, I'll have a bag of rice and two horseshoes and a can of beans and fire starter and this and that. (laughs) And then he's like, well, that's fair. That's just fine. And then he goes to the back and the proprietor gets it for you and then brings it to you to the front. Imagine how fucking long that would take. Imagine how long that would take. And by brand new, I don't usually think of like 150 years old. Well, like in the scheme of things, like it's well, it's in not the like scheme of things. Like if, it, if we're talking about like cosmic age, yeah, that's brand new. Yes, that's what I was referring to. Cosmically, <laughs> <laughs> it's cosmically brand new that Walmart exists. I saw this happen in real life the other day. Um, there was a police activity video, and the cops get called to a hotel pool, not a nice hotel. Don't imagine the fucking they were in Vegas or something. The fan- no, we're at like Motel Six or some shit. And this person is out by the pool topless, big titties out. And they're like, Kit, you got to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you got to leave. Your, your titties are out. And, <laughs> and they go, why? I'm a man. <laughs> can't, what do you mean? I'm a man. Uh, you can't, I'm a man. I can't. I can't. I got to wear a top. You've got titties. Yeah, you can't have them <laughs> out. You, you got to go. That's it. That's it. it rat, put, cover them titties up. We're going to jail. <laughs> 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 and i loved how straightforward it was they're like we're not going to talk about pronouns we're not going to talk about who you are you got titties out there's kids over there you coming with me or you hot you're putting them away yeah and shut that like, down yeah.